Hello everyone, Kazo War here, and I'm making this video to show um, a new the new Smog and Set database. Last night I updated my program to uh, be able to rip sets and generate PKM files for all five tiers now. Um, instead of having a f when you unzip it, instead of being the tier list. Now you see the gen list, and inside each gen folder is the tier list. For first and second gen, because, like, in fifth gen, I have it set up to where it uses the tiers the sets were made for. Like, you can have OU Pokemon and maybe even UU Pokemon have sets and Ubers. Like, the Sharp, I'm sure he's not Uber, but he has set that was made for ubers same with blissey blissey's good uber pokemon so that's how that is but for some reason on gen 1 and 2 pokemon i guess since it's so old i guess they didn't really update it too much or didn't pay much attention to it but like in gen 1 it was like you know there's only this many ou pokemon and like all these pokemon are uu like almost all of these Pokemon sets were listed under OU and so they were technically all being put in the OU folder which is not really a bad thing but the problem was was that UU only had like three or four Pokemon in it because there was only like three or four Pokemon who had sets that were meant to be played in UU I guess so I just returned to the Pokemon tier folder instead of the metagame folder because I'm sure people might want to do UU -U battles but there was only like three Pokemon in this folder so I did that for the first and second gen and because of that second gen also has a BL folder which as you can see is a nice list so maybe doing BL battles wouldn't be too bad because I remember people used to do BL battles back in early 4th gen because it was actually a nice list of them instead of where there was like 2 or 3 Pokemon in BL now actually I haven't checked that recently but I'm sure it's still that way there's also 3rd gen 3rd gen also uses the same format that 5th gen uses for the organization where as like an OU Pokemon with an Uber set will be placed in the Ubers folder so you can be using a you know a good set that was meant for ubers instead of just saying you know just having banned pokemon in this folder and then if you want it a uber pokemon or you know some good uber sets that aren't over pokemon have it hunt them down in the ou folder or something and there's also fourth gen which also has a little cup because there was no little cup for the other gens but yeah so that's this for now um for first and second gen, you can use Pikasa version 4.0. It added support for importing Pokemon files. So you can import these directly into your box on your first and second gen games and use TGB Duel to uh, battle people online. Though, from my experience, there doesn't seem to be that many people who are into it. But hopefully, um, there'll be more people. Cause I know there were some people who made videos about it. It just got me interested in it, and I get it all set up, and I go to the chat room, and it's like dead. And I've been hanging out in that chat room for the past few days, and not many people have been showing up. So we'll see how first and second gen battles go. For third gen, even though it is technically possible that there is a v Visual Boy um, advance that has link support, from my my personal experience, it's kind of laggy depending on who you're facing, like depending on the ping between y'all two. I know I've seen some people post videos where their battles are perfectly fine. So this is here. Um, for importing these, I I know that I think there was a program called like Poke Stock or something or poke box or something I'm not really sure exactly the name but it's some like Japanese program that was translated and I'm pretty sure it supports importing and exporting Pokemon there's also that one program I 
uh, translate a little bit, but it only works for Emerald, and it only like works for editing your party Pokemon. But there's maybe that you could probably use that. There was also my own save editor I was working on, but I haven't really worked on it in a long time. I will probably would ever finish it. That supports importing and exporting into your boxes. I might actually, maybe I might release it if people are having trouble finding ways to import their own Pokemon, even though it's not really in a released or in a state to be released. But I do know box importing and exporting does work fine, though I have it finished the Pokemon editor itself so you can't actually edit your Pokemon yet um force gen, focus off, poke gen, fifth gen, focus off, poke gen yeah so there's that, there's this um if you notice anything wrong with anything on here please let me know like if there's any sets any you know any Pokemon files that you know have the wrong moves or missing moves has the wrong EVs for Gen 3 to 4, the wrong hidden power, you know, glitched names, glitched met places, because I have all these Pokemon to try to look as legal as possible, you know, like all for, uh, let's see, for Gen 3, all Pokemon that could breed is listed as being bred in Emerald and, you know, from Route 117, I believe is the route where the daycare center is, and all non-breedable Pokemon such as Legendaries and Ditto should say their respected locations at their respected levels, so if any of those are missed wrong, please let me know. Same for 4th Gen and 5th Gen. For 2nd Gen, it does the same thing because Crystal Version actually has it doesn't actually show the locations and stuff for the Pokemon in the status screen, but there is an NPC on that one island where Chuck is, the gym leader Chuck. Um, there's there's a there's an old lady there who will tell you the level met, the location met, and it's only for Crystal Pokemon. Pokemon from first gen has no such thing. And when you transfer, when you trade them over to Crystal, that she says that like, she doesn't know where they're from. Same for Gold. So like under here, like I say, a Zapdos, which you can't catch in Gold, Silver, Crystal, has the data set for as if it was trans traded from uh, traded from Red, Blue, or Yellow. So that's this video. It's at like eight minute mark now. It's pretty long. So. Probably no one's still watching because they probably said, oh cool, an update, and they just turned my video off and downloaded it or something, or said not this stupid shit again and deleted it, or whatever. But anyways, if you find any bugs, please let me know. Send me a uh, PM on YouTube. Send me an email. Do whatever. Just please, if you find anything wrong, let me know because I'm always finding problems and I'm always trying to fix them. Like, before I even made this video, I thought it was perfectly complete. I found out that gens 1 and 2, my code to rip the sets weren't fully ripping the sets. It was like missing. Like it would rip the first set fine and some Pokemon it ripped the second set as well. But a lot of Pokemon only it only ripped their first set listed. But I was able to fix that. So if there's any sets like say a third gen set Deoxys, like maybe there's a another set here for Deoxys that's not listed because that program didn't rip the set for some reason. If you find that, let me know. So, um, that's it for this video. Um, see you guys later.